government says the projects include the establishment of three mega schools beginning with the Alakaramtip Community Primary School with 30 classrooms, administrative block and sporting facilities. The government day secondary school Gomboru also with 30 classrooms, administrative block and sporting facilities and the Shuaritu Primary School which has 20 classrooms, staff quarters and other facilities. The Borno Authority says the aim is to provide a conducive environment for learning and boost participatory education. We massively in education infrastructure and our enrollment rate has become excellent. Very soon when the figure of out of school children is published you will discover that ours have dropped significantly because of our massive infrastructural achievements. So we want to back that with qualitative teachers. That is why we took time to test and selected the best of the best among them. Some of the projects were inaugurated by Vice President Kashim Shatima during his two-day official visit to Borno State. Some Borno residents speak on the efforts of the state government in infrastructure provisions. If, if, if you look at his performance generally, you will see that he's, he has done well and he's... Uh, we are happy that he's coming at this time because education has been ravaged in Borno State. If you remember, we battled with insecurity for over a decade. The man of try, we are praying for him. We wish him the best from here to the next level. So wish him the best. Really appreciate what she has been doing through the education sector, but still we need more wanting from him. That was the teachers that now they brought them to the system so they have to government stand behind them to do better as the Borno state government celebrates the first hundred days of its second term there's a call on governor baba ganazulum to ensure that more projects that would be constructed cut across all parts of the state for arise news sunny adamu